I heard that you want to know how I edit my videos, but also how you can improve your editing skills. Well, you came to the right place. Watch the breakdown. Hi peoples, welcome welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be taking you guys through the process of me filming using free editing apps, how I do my point of view clips, my video trailers, editing tips, also how to use non-copyright songs, and more. Before I go ahead and dive into those stuff, the first thing I like to do is go over some quick questions that some of you guys may have, or just questions in general that I just want to answer. First question is where do you get your music from I get my music from this channel they upload royalty free non copyright music and I use them in basically almost every single one of my videos what app do you use for those of you guys who don't know I use a cap cut it is a free app and it is available on Android and iOS how long are your videos before you edit them my videos usually range before 30 minutes to an hour before I actually cut them down to 10 minutes or 20 minutes however it's going next question is how long does it take you to edit so it honestly depends on the video if it's like a roblox vlog that would usually take me like four hours to like two days to do maybe if it's a simple video of me trying out a game it'll probably take me a couple hours to edit and the last question is what device do you use i use my ipad but you can also use your phone with all of that taken care of i think it's finally time to show you guys how i edit my videos on mobile using CapCut. Alrighty, so we are now here in CapCut, and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking all of the aesthetic, kind of like the key points and the highlights of each clip that I've made. So we're going to head to New Project, and this is basically where I keep all of my video clips. While I'm filming, as you guys can see, I would like stare at objects or sometimes even move for a long time, and this is what you call point of view clips. It makes the video a little bit more realistic. It's basically when you stare at an object for a good 7 to 10 seconds and that's how I get my point of view clips. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of these point of view clips for the little beginning tweezer. And the first thing that I do once I'm here is I head over to format and I change it to 16:9 because that is the ratio that you need for YouTube. Then once I've done that, I'm going to click on the video, we're going to go to edit crop and i'm going to crop it to a 16 9 as well then once i'm here i'm going to crop out these little buttons because i am on mobile and i'm also editing this on mobile so there's going to be buttons on the screen so i'm going to crop those out you can zoom in you can like adjust it you can honestly do like a lot of different stuff so I'm going to do that. We're going to kind of get it to how I want it. And as I said, this is going to be in the beginning of the video. This is going to be the first thing that your audience is going to see when they watch your video. You see that part where the girl's like skateboarding down? I personally really find the aesthetic and I like that part. So we're going to like move that. Another thing I would recommend is like instead of going through every single clip individually, I would just go to this button over here that says mute clip audio. And it'll just mute all of the clips that you have and it just makes it way more easier um and then i'm like we can also take this part over here because i'm just trying to find like the more like aesthetic parts and you know stuff like that they don't have to be like the whole time you're doing point of view clips and you also don't have to use all of your point of view clips but yeah i'm gonna that's enough clips i'm gonna use from there now i'm gonna go through basically almost every single clip that i have made and we're gonna just take the key Oops. points like yes. in this clip i was driving well barely i was trying my best to drive but i wasn't really driving very good so i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna show them me driving we do have a somewhat of like good driving in this clip so i'm gonna insert that i honestly don't have a preference on like how long the point of view trailer thingy should be but right now as you can see they're all like different lengths and stuff but later on once i add the audio i will go ahead and change that up and stuff so i'm just looking for more like highlighted clips um like any important things maybe when i'm like going grocery shopping yeah we're gonna leave that in there because that is something that i did so we're gonna cut that go all the way back here 
and this is what we have so far. I feel like this can cut over there, and that can go, that can cut. Alrighty, so that's enough clips I'm going to use from this clip. Yeah, that's all I'm going to use for here. I did a lot of stuff in this specific video, so I'm going to try to break down all the important stuff into like a 30 to a minute video. I also want to add in these point of view clips of me at the restaurant. So yes, that would be fun. Once again, I'm going to make sure everything... I gotta make sure that everything fits the 16-9 ratio or else your video won't be in full screen and then people probably just won't end up watching it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take some of these clips of me here at this restaurant. I feel like I should fix this though. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up getting all the clips sorted out and then after that we can go ahead and add text, kind of give it more of a dark modern theme as well as audio. Alrighty, so your girl is back and I just went ahead and took some time to go through all the clips and to get all like the key points and highlights that were happening in this video. So now that I have done that, a lot of times I like to make the clip switch according to the audio but it honestly just depends i think this is the order that i want all of my clips to stay in this is what i got so far um alrighty so next we're gonna try to make this like a dark aesthetic you can even do a white aesthetic i'm gonna show you guys how i do my both white modern black aesthetic and then my white so the first thing i do is head to overlay I click overlay again and then I head to stock videos for the black aesthetic I'll click on the black picture zoom that all the way in and make sure it goes all throughout this video and then once it's all throughout then I'll go ahead to opacity opacity is this button over here I click on opacity and then lower opacity to 40 percent okay this is like the dark dark aesthetic but lately I've been liking the lighter aesthetic. So this is like if you want your videos really dark. But you can even drag it down to 30. Which I like that one as well. And then for the light aesthetic I'll do the same thing. But I'll just use the white picture overlay. So we're going to drag it all throughout. And for this video I really don't know which one I want. Because I honestly like both. And it's honestly a really hard time picking through these stuff. So if we lower it down to 40, this is how the white aesthetic would look. Hmm. Okay, I honestly feel like for this specific video, I should just do the black aesthetic. Because this one, it kind of looks like it has a white cast on it. I don't know how to describe it. So for this one, I'm going to stick to the black aesthetic modern overlay. So we're going to drag this back out. We're probably going to lower opacity to about 30 or 35 on this one. But if you like the dark aesthetic, which is one I usually do, it would be 40. But we're going to drag mine to about 30. Alrighty, so this is how everything would look with the dark aesthetic. The main reason why I love doing the overlays is because your text gets to stand out a bit more. So usually, I go ahead and I click text and I put in all caps and I'm like, in this video. Like, I'm just screaming at you guys, like, in this video. And I go to font, and I usually use bold or classic. Today, we're going to use classic. So, basically, I'll go like this, make sure it's all lined up, and then I would put it all throughout. And then I would also lower this opacity as well. We're going to go to style, style again, opacity, and lower it to about 70 
All right, and that's how I get that to look like that. All right, so now that that is done, I always like to add some animations in my videos. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna click on the first clip that we have and I'm gonna go to animation and I'm gonna press animation in. And my favorite one is the fade in and I like to make it fade in for one second. And then same for the last clip, you're gonna click on the last clip, animation, out, and fade out for one second. So I also like to do the same thing to the overlay. Where's the overlay? I like to do the same thing to the overlay because it just like helps and fades in all together. So I'm gonna put that to one second so everything fades in. And then we're gonna click that animation out, fade out for one second. Alrighty, so that's how I get that to look like that. I'm also going to go ahead and add a sound effect. And the sound effect that I use is the mouse click sound effect. The way that I add that is I go to audio and then I go to extract audio. So if I'm going to use this mouse click sound effect, once the video fades in, I'm going to go to text and I'm going to break it down to this. So I basically split the video where I want the audio to be. So I want the mouse click to be here and the text to be there as well. So then I'm gonna drag the audio all the way over and I like to put it like this. So as soon as the audio makes the loudest noise, I like to have it right where I want it. So this is how it would be. Just like that, ah! Okay, and then sometimes I would go ahead and remove the text at the end. But for this specific video, I'm not gonna do that because I don't really think it needs all that. But yes, so the last and final thing that we'll be looking at is non-copyright music so that we can add some music to this trailer tweezer thingy mabaru. Before I go ahead and continue editing, I do feel like I should continue keeping my black screen to 40% because that is just a little too light. Okay, I think that is better and we can also get the text to be at a lower percentage as well style we're gonna move it down to sometimes i do 50 but that may be too low so let's do 55 Alrighty, so that's how the new video looks <laughs> okay so now as for audio i just like to by the way i did go ahead and screen record this audio and i went ahead and clicked extract okay so it's just gonna take all the audio from that specific video so we're gonna cut off all this extra stuff i was probably breathing heavily in that part anyways so i'm gonna drag it to where i want it to begin and the first thing that i do is lower the volume because i just don't want to blow your ears off so we're gonna lower the volume to about 55 or 60 i'm just gonna do 55 because i just like it like that the song that i am using for this beginning part is teapot oh yeah and then i also like to fade it in for two seconds and then I also like it to fade out for two seconds. Okay, I gotta make sure that... Okay, yeah, because this one, I kind of messed up on that one. I'm gonna put this back to 40. Should we try 50? Okay, let's try 50 real quick. We're gonna see how 50 looks. I honestly like the darker the better, but sometimes it doesn't have to be that dark, all right? So that that is literally it. Oh, all I gotta do now is cut off the rest of this extra audio and make sure that it actually fades out for two seconds. We're gonna make that fade out for two seconds. And then I'm actually gonna see if I can change this font. I'm gonna try doing something new. We're gonna be like in this video i feel like i'm always screaming at you guys so we're gonna change up the font Ooh, this would be cute as well a lot of stuff be going down when i'm editing all right i'm very indecisive and i cannot stick to one thing okay that would actually be pretty cute too oh see this is when things just become really difficult okay should we just do this I think we should just do this because it's like different and I haven't done this before. Wait, I feel like it's too thick. 
Okay, you know what? This one is way cuter. Okay, we're going to be doing this one. The font that I used is this one over here. Not even going to try to pronounce that. We're going to expand that a little bit more. And that's how that's going to come out. All right, guys. That is how I make my little, like, intro tweezers thingies. I hope this really helped you guys. And this did come out to be 22 seconds. I usually try to aim for 30 seconds, but this is okay because it's still getting all the key and highlighted points. That's how I do this part. Alrighty guys, so we just got done with the little trailer part and now it is finally time to actually get into editing the actual video. So the first thing I want to do is click new project and sometimes I like to put my intro first and then the tweezer, sometimes I put the tweezer first, like it literally just depends. But today I'm going to be putting my intro first and then the tweezer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my intro, which is this one over here. We're gonna click on that and then the uh, tweezer. Where is that? Okay, that's up here. And now after I've done that, I literally just need to put all of my videos in order. So here are the point of view clips that I took while recording. So I'm basically gonna put all of these videos in order, like literally three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 15 all right guys 15 clips and this video did come out to be 36 minutes as i said a lot of my videos range from 30 minutes to an hour so this one is actually pretty good so basically once i once the video starts it'll be my intro my social medias subscribe blah 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 and then it's gonna fade out and then it'll be the tweezer that we just created so then that would happen and then once it fades out i like to put this like black screen to kind of indicate that we're like starting something new so i'm gonna click the plus we're gonna stock photos the black screen and i like to keep that on for 0 0.6 seconds so we're gonna put it like that so it's gonna like fade out and it's gonna fade back in we're gonna put another fade out because i really want you to see like the fade out so we're gonna like fade it out even more for one second and then it'll be like a black screen and then when this comes in it'll be like the point of view clips so I'm gonna turn this volume down to zero and I'm gonna go ahead and crop this okay so now it's time for the point of view clips and I'm basically gonna be like Barry Avenue blah 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 o'clock da, 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 stuff like that so that's what we have so far so as you can see as I'm filming I'm basically like staring I'm basically staring at random objects for like a good 10 seconds, but then like this person had to ruin my point of view clips. Ah, okay, chat anyways, but I'm going to get her on that skateboard. Okay, we got you, girl. We got you. Okay, we're going to get her on that skateboard. And then I also like walked the street and it looked really bougie. So I'm going to get that as well. Cut that. Um, when I'm looking over here, we're going to take that and we're going to cut that, walk down, boom. And we're going to continue. Here I went into the smoothie place. We're going to take that. I'm going to I'm gonna click on the video, split it, and delete this other clip. Come back here, boom, take that. And then we're also, I went to nails, nails, nails. Okay, we're gonna take that, cut that. We're gonna come back here. Make sure we get those trees moving so y'all can see it's not a picture and it's an actual screen recording. And then I decided to eavesdrop on these people's conversation. So we're gonna leave that in there too. Because why not? Let's get some extra tea and drama while we're at it. Wait, that girl left. I want to get it while she's in here. Alrighty, so that's it for that. I'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of those clips. Because I have another clip of more point of view clips. So we're going to crop that 16.9. Crop that down. Bring this down a little bit. Yeah, we're going to bring that down a little bit. And we're going to get some more point of view clips. We're going to come here. And we're going to get this i don't know why i thought this was important but i took it so we're gonna keep it i need to also turn down this uh, oh i deleted it oh no okay i'm gonna turn down the audio 
Alrighty, so now that that's done, we're also going to make this fade out for one second. And then you guys know what to do. We got to add in this black screen for 0.6 seconds. And now it is time to go into the actual editing. So for this part, I personally like to keep the buttons on my screen because you guys can like really see me interacting with the game. And also, it's really nice to embrace the fact that you're on mobile, you know? So now we're on to the actual video. We're going to go ahead and click we're going to go ahead and click edit crop. I'm going to crop out this video, but we're not going to crop out the buttons, guys. We need to embrace our buttons. We need to embrace the fact that we are on mobile. Embrace it, share it, let everyone know. And then I know you guys are probably wondering, like, girl, I'm just not going to put audio here. I like to do audio last because of the fact that I like to go back and fix things. And if I don't do it, there's going to be, like, audio all over the place. And it's just going to be, like, really annoying. So, therefore, I'm going to leave this just like that and I'll work on audio last. That's what I do for all my videos anyways. And I'm talking really fast because this video is supposed to be going out in, like, two hours while I didn't even start editing it. Ah, okay, whatever. So... For this part, I go ahead and wait until I'm like, hi, peoples, because I don't want them to wait, you know? I want to be like, hi, peoples, and then that's when the video really starts. So I'm going to wait till I say hi, peoples. Hi, because your girl be drinking water, she be smacking her lips, like, things be going on before I even say hi, peoples, yet. So you see, before I smack my, before I open my mouth to say hi, peoples, I'm going to split it right there and delete that part. So it can be like, hi peoples, hi peoples, and then once I say hi peoples, I'm going to go ahead and split it, and then I'm going to be like, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes! Okay, so then after I do that, I'm going to go to the very beginning of this clip that was like, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to click on this button over here that has this diamond and the plus. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to zoom it out. Ooh, I'm going to zoom it out a bit. I'm going to position it back. I'm going to make sure it's in like full screen. And I'm going to go to the ending of the specific clip. Click the diamonds again and zoom it in until you get that like white bar. Until you get that white bar. Yes. And this is basically how you zoom in. Welcome, welcome. I don't like how it's like that though. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay, and that's basically how I'm like, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, peoples. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you guys can see, your girl... And then for this part, um, I basically just, like, leave a lot of stuff in. But every time I take a breath or I'm like, oh, um, blah, blah, blah. Every time it's, like, random stuff that's, like, unnecessary stuff, I literally just cut that part out. So, see how I took a breath after I was like, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel? That's when I'm going to... That's when I'm going to go ahead and just, like, cut out that whole part, because... So, as you guys can see... And I do have to, like, listen over a couple times, but it's okay. YouTube channel. So, as you guys can see, your girl is back in Berry Avenue. See how I took that long break? As soon as I say Berry Avenue, I'm just going to cut it, so it's just, like, straight to the point. As you guys can see, your girl is back in Berry Avenue. We're gonna cut it. Take a, take the longest breath, Patty. Let's go. Um, see how you just said um. We're gonna also cut that um, part out too. And yeah, um, I think you guys are gonna be spending two days with. Think you guys are gonna. I think you guys. And yeah. And then as soon as I'm like um and yeah, I just basically cut all those parts out. Mary Avenue. Um, I think you guys. Avenue, um. Just like that. Avenue. I think you guys are going to be spending two days with me. So I hope you guys are excited for that because I know that I am. We're going to cut that out. I know that I am. Because you hear me take a breath after. So we're just going to cut that part out. And then I feel like the parts that I where I'm talking like more for like a longer period of time. I just like to zoom it in. I think you guys are going to be spending two days with me. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Yeah, because I was, like, talking a lot in this whole clip. So I'm going to go ahead and do the keyframe again where I add the diamonds. I zoom that part out. And I go to the end of the clip, add the diamonds, 
zoom it in it's still you have that like white box so then when i'm the talking new, i think you guys are gonna be spending be like boring. two days with me so i hope you guys are excited for that because i know that i am and we're already one minute through yes okay i'm not gonna lie i'm already kind of tired Ooh. Ooh, i'm tired Ooh. Your girl just got done editing a little bit more, but I have this longer clip and I was basically talking a lot. So I'm going to show you guys how I kind of make it a little bit more entertaining and not so like blah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and listen to it first. Oh, I wasn't able to film in front of my house because there were paparazzis outside. Okay, paparazzis. Oh, okay. Okay, so now that I heard it, I'm going to oh okay so this one i'm like oh because that's like my signature word okay i made up that word i did it what was that so before i say oh we're gonna cut that out cut all that stuff out what was that oh and then as you guys hear i took a very deep breath we're gonna cut that out as well oh and i'm gonna cut out this breath i will I all right so it's gonna be like oh i'm just gonna continue on what i'm saying what was that? Oh. I wasn't able to film in front of my house because there were paparazzis. 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 So basically when I'm saying paparazzis, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And then I'm going to go to text. And I'm going to add a text basically saying paparazzis. So I'm going to go ahead and add paparazzis. And I'm going to use the nails emoji because it's just giving. And should I use classic? Okay, we're going to use... We're gonna use the classic for this one. I'm gonna go to style, shadow, black, opacity all the way up. And then we're gonna turn blur down to 10. So I'm gonna be like paparazzis. I don't know where to put it, let's just put it there. Actually, no, it makes more sense to put it over there, okay. We're gonna make sure this fits with the clip. It was because there were paparazzis outside, okay? Paparazzis, ooh. So once after I'm saying, okay, I wanted to zoom out. Paparazzis outside, okay? And then we're gonna split it here. Add the, uh, we're gonna add the keyframes. We're gonna size it up with that. And then since I wanted to zoom out, we're gonna click on here and we're actually gonna zoom out to where I want it to be. So this is how it would all play out. That. Oh. I wasn't able to film in front of my house because there were paparazzis outside, okay? Paparazzis. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's basically how I made this clip a little bit more, you know, there's more stuff happening now. So, yeah, that's how I did that. It's been about another good 10 minutes and your girl has only made it through two minutes and five seconds. So I did get a lot of stuff done, but there's this other part where I want to be like, where I want to add like text on every word I say. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So for example, this is the clip that I want to add text to like everything I say to. Girl, I can never draw. I'm trying to make this aesthetic. So every single word that I say, I want to put the word on the screen. Damn. I literally got to stop the video every single time I talk. I'm going to drag it where I want it to go. We're going to put it here, and we're not going to delete this. We're literally just going to split it again, because you want it to stay in the same place. I'm going to make... So as soon as I say trying, we're going to split that, split the text, take this, and I'm going to switch this to trying. So it's going to be like... I'm trying, trying to make this... I'm trying to make... This aesthetic. I make this. I make. I make. So I said I'm trying to make really fast, so I'm just gonna put that in one, which is okay. We're gonna say um, to make this 
make this as make this we're gonna take this style I'm gonna put this this aesthetic and then when I say aesthetic we're gonna put the word aesthetic and maybe some like crystals and wow game i'm trying to make this aesthetic so see every single word i say it would then go like that this you know it just really brings some stuff together so that's how i do that game i'm trying to make this aesthetic after some more editing i'm going to show you guys how i basically like do the swoosh sound effect so basically where i want to like switch the scenes and stuff because i'm gonna like switch from me being here to actually being at the grocery store so the first thing i'm gonna do is look for when i'm actually like talking again at the grocery store the grocery store okay so before i talk i'm gonna split that and delete that stuff so this is me basically talking about how i'm at the grocery store so i'm gonna go ahead and head to audio and then i'm gonna go to extract basically just search up a swishing sound effect so you guys can see how to switch scenes and stuff okay so see there's like a whole bunch of like swishing sound effects but i personally love this second one over here so i'm gonna crop it out so it's only like that part and we're gonna drag it over Ooh, and this is the part that gets annoying because i want it like in the middle but it won't be in the middle so i have to like ugh. Anyways, we're gonna keep it more like that. It's okay if it's there, okay? At least they're gonna hear the sound effect. So it's gonna be like this. The grocery store. Alright, so we made it to the grocery store and your girl still has really good parking. So that is very exciting, okay? Very exciting, okay? And again, like, before I'm about to take any breath, I literally just cut it so I can cut out any time I make a breath or I say okay, um, stuff like that. So that's how I do stuff like sound effects and this stuff and all of this stuff oh my goodness this is taking way longer than it should be so i'm gonna basically be showing you guys how i edit the point of view clips while i'm like out and about like for example i'm gonna show you guys how i do the point of view clips for this grocery store so basically as i said i'm gonna be talking about how i made it to the grocery store and all that kind of stuff and, and i'm gonna show you guys how i do it so the first thing that i do while i'm recording is i zoom in i go first person and i basically just stare at it i literally just stare at the grocery store there's literally not much to it so i literally stare at, wait see how i moved i don't like that so i'm gonna cut that out but i basically just stare for like however long i want it to be and we turn down the volume as well so we're gonna turn that down mm -mm. anyway so this is point of view clips real quick i feel like ooh, i feel like this is good enough and then i took some more point of view clips in here so i'm gonna cut that we're gonna bring this in here just like that turn that down and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to text and we're basically just gonna say where we are so i'm just gonna say that i'm at the food market because it just makes more sense to say it like that so i'm gonna go to emojis and i use this emoji over here and i'm basically just gonna be like a food market and i'm gonna take away the no i'm gonna change the font to bold and I'm also going to take away the shadow or maybe kind of blur it out. No, we're going to take away the shadow. We're only going to have a little bit of shadow. Then we're going to place it in this corner over here, enlarge it a bit. And then as soon as the text comes up, we need to add this clicky sound effect, which you can honestly just like go back and copy and paste it. Okay, this may be a little too big. We're going to size that down a little bit. And then basically I like to drag it out because I'm like this is the food market okay so it finally popped up we're gonna drag it kind of position it properly just like that quick and then once again at the end of everything I'm gonna go ahead and add a audio here so it just won't be silent so yeah that's how I would be doing that I'm gonna cut this down a little bit more 
we're gonna drag that out and i'm gonna take the audio and put it at the end to like indicate that we're gonna do this so that we can indicate that the text is gone or that we're like switching scenes and stuff like that i literally just got a notification that my screen recording never saved but basically it is about three and a half hours later and your girl is finally done editing the video the video ended up being 24 minutes and 48 seconds long and basically all i'm doing now is extracting audio and adding audio wherever there is like this little like mute icon in the video every time i see where it's mute i'm basically just like adding audio there and then when it's not mute i like take it apart and i just keep dragging it to places that doesn't have audio Alrighty everyone, so that does bring us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Please let me know by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye peoples!